Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lauren, also known as Soul Style Beauty. And I talk everything life, faith, style, and beauty. If you're interested in that type of content, definitely hit that subscribe button down below so we can start to grow as a family. Don't forget to share and also comment down below to let me know that y'all are liking the videos because at the end of the day, it does give a YouTuber, you know, some type of motivation to keep going, you know? So if you are not that person to like or share or comment, like it's actually important. I'm not even gonna lie. So definitely hit that like button and comment and also subscribe to the channel so today we're actually going to be doing something different and we're going to be talking about hair because i know i changed it up drastically and it's crazy because every time i change my hair i look drastically different i don't know why you no know those people who do changes to the hair and it's like okay they look the same so i feel like whatever hairstyle i get like it, it's like a drastic change so today um so this time i decided to go jet black and create like this long jet black unit um just i don't know i was just inspired and i was like let me just try jet black you know let me let me just do something different so i created this unit and i also recorded like the process and everything on sunday when i made the unit so i'm gonna insert some clips there so hopefully help you guys out if you have any questions on like how i make my units um so yeah it's gonna be a video all about this hair this hair is from beauty forever here this is the first time i've ever tried their company usually i order from alley queen here um but they recently changed their vendor and i was like i don't know about that <laughs> i i don't know about that um so i got three bundles and a closure for only 120 dollars and you can tell like it's good quality here and i can rock with it for a little while you know your girls trying to save the coins getting married it's just like i can't be out here spinning y'all what I really wanted was some $300 here, but instead I settled for this and it still came out good, you know? So it's affordable and I hope that this helps you guys who actually wear weaves and wear bundles. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, stay tuned. So like I said in the beginning of this video, the hair is actually from Beauty Forever here and I got a bundle in 14, 16, 18, and then I got a 14 inch closure. Okay, so I have my semi-permanent jet black hair dye from Adore. So I'm going to actually put this in um, the water once it's done boiling. So I have a little bit of room temperature water in here. And I'm just going to put in the boiling water after, you know, after it gets hot. Um, and then I have my first bundle ready to dye. So I'm using the watercolor method. So um, this is the water. And once I have like scorching, not scorching hot, but like very hot water, then I'm going to put in the hair dye and then dip in my bundle. So. So y'all had so much fun doing this. I was like, look at me looking like a scientist. But anyways, I think that it will be super important before you dip dye your bundles to comb them out and then refold them. It will save you a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble when it comes to detangling later after washing up the hair. Before dip dyeing the closure, you want to spray the mess out of the closure, the back of the lace, with got to be um, spray spray. Make sure you spray it down because it actually acts as a sealant, and so the dye, um, so the dye won't actually dye the lace, you know, because that's gonna be a huge problem. So don't forget that got to be free spray. So usually when I'm dying here, I open up the garbage bag to like, you know, protect the home. Um, you don't want like dye all over your house. So I love to open up a garbage bag. I have all my bundles here. Um, I let the color set in for 10 minutes and I wash out each bundle. And as you can see, it did not stain the same. Hallelujah. So don't worry about that. Okay, y'all. So I'm finally done like dyeing the hair, blow drying it. So now it's time to make the wig. So this is basically how the hair looks. This is the 18 inch bundle. So I'm going to put this on the very bottom of my wig. Um, but yeah, like I said, I dyed it. Bruh. <laughs> I've never dyed bundles before. I've only like made the wig and dyed it on the head, which to me is less work. Um, but this time I did um, the water method. 
and it was a lot so a detangler brush is definitely your best friend I'm about to make this wig I'm gonna show you guys what I have set up already so right now I have my little styrofoam head I make all my units on the styrofoam head um, and I have my needle already threaded it's sticking out the side of the styrofoam head just because it makes it more easier like I like it to be like that's why I never film like my wig videos but I was like you know what this time I'm really gonna film my wigs because I get a lot of questions um, so yeah I'm gonna start this unit and I'll show you a little bit of how I do it so usually when sewing I like to go through the weft um, and then I'm going to of course go through um, the dome cap upwards and then when you pull out of the um, the dome cap you want to knot it um, so you're gonna make a, knee, a knot and then go through the dome cap. I hope this is making sense. If not, I can further explain in the comments. Um, so yeah, let me know if you um, need further explanation. So once I'm done and I get to the end, I'm going to use the fold over method. I only use the fold over method for the bottom two bundles, um, but I fold it over and I'm going to sew it exactly how I did the bottom row. So yeah, y'all, just like that, we are done with the first bundle and now it's time to actually move on to the closure. All right, y'all, and sorry if I look busted in this video, but it's time to do the closure so i usually sew one bundle on and then um i will do the closure so i'm about to do the closure now um and what i like to do is lay it flat where i want it to be on the dome head and usually i use like pens so let me just go and grab me some pens So here you're just going to see me pinning down the closure. Once it's all pinned down, you're just going to sew around the closure. And then you're just going to add your extra bundles in between. And I like this because it gives you a good gauge of measurement. Um, therefore, nothing's messed up when you get to the top because it's already done. Um, and then, of course, you're going to cut off that dome um, satin cap around the closure. And that's really it, y'all. You have a wig. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. I've been wearing this unit for almost a week now. And I can say that it's not, like, you know, tangling up or anything like that. It's low maintenance. Believe it or not, I take this on and I take it off <laughs> when I get home. Um, it doesn't feel tight. Like, I feel like it fits, you know, snug um, to my hair. And you could just honestly tell that the quality is great. So I can do hair updates if you guys are interested. Just leave it down below like E, like can you do the updates or whatever on the hair. And I'll make sure to do another video explaining like what this hair is like, you know, doing. How is it working? How is it living? I'll leave it and I'll do, I'll definitely do another video. So let me know. Um, but I really like the hair so far. It's like low maintenance, y'all. And you can tell that it's not like tangling um, at all in the back area. It still feels pretty soft, like I said. I blue dried this hair. I washed it. I dyed it. And it, it looks amazing. And I got it for an amazing deal. So, yes. <laughs> so, I hope to see you guys in the next video. I hope that you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in my next one. Later. Oh, yeah.